You've all been asking and wanting to know how good does a compost heated greenhouse do on a 100 degree day like today? Well, let's look. 100 degrees out here. I am sweltering hot. Let's see how good our compost heated greenhouse works in the heat. Come follow me. The first thing we want to do is take a look at the compost around the sides of the greenhouses. Notice that it's turning into pure compost. And as we dig down, it's really cool. It's not that hot. So that's awesome. It's cool enough that red wiggler worms are thriving. So we're actually forming compost on the sides of our greenhouses. We can plant crops there. Along with crops, we could also harvest red wiggler worms. And as we continue to look, there's more and more of them that we're raising and growing. Take a look. There's one peeking out right there through the compost. How cool. All right, it's 100 degrees outside. Let's see if I can survive in this greenhouse. Okay, do I dare go inside this greenhouse when it's 100 degrees outside? Well, as I peek inside and continue to walk, it looks fantastic. Take a look at the size of these huge, delectable, delicious strawberries. And back there, a huge Olympian fig tree. It's a huge Olympian fig tree inside of here with figs already on it. More surprises await as I continue on. Donut peaches, and they're ripening up. Have you guys ever had a donut peach before? They're white flesh, and they taste like vanilla ice cream. This water tank down there keeps it cool at ground level. So does the mulch. And this coolness radiates through the top of the greenhouse, outside the windows. And the leaf canopy also keeps it cool, so it feels really good inside this greenhouse, and the donut peaches are a testimony to that. Take a look at how beautiful they are. They will all be ripe in a week. We walk on by and we take a look and there's tons of strawberry blooms. So it does not get too hot in here. And as we take a look at the plants and the trees, they all look really happy. Tons of new strawberries, lots of donut peaches. The ground level's cool. The top part has windows. The hot air goes out the windows. We also see some celery plants. As we continue to walk down, we're going to see a lot of strawberries hanging off the sides of the pots. And they are dead ripe, really sweet. Have you ever had a sweet, really sweet, ripe strawberry? You know what I'm talking about. Little ones and huge ones. What's your favorite variety of strawberry to grow? Leave that in the comments. Here's mine and take a look at how beautiful. Inside the compost plastic, there's a compost pile that heats the greenhouses. As we go outside of the greenhouse, we have another treat here, some sugar snap peas. And they are my favorite. You just eat them pot and all, really sweet. There's some broccolini as well. Ah, oh, so good, yum, sugar snap peas. 